long, long time, no speak. Honestly, I have filmed, I just haven't edited it and uploaded it um, because life has just been chaotic. Basically, I don't even know if I've mentioned on my YouTube channel, I definitely have over on my Any Day Instagram, but I tore my ACL in September. So it's September, October, November. We're nearly three months into that. Only two weeks ago, I got the actual confirmation from my MRI results that um, I have fully ruptured my ACL and will need reconstruction surgery in the new year. Yeah, it's just been hectic for a good month and a half, I would say. I wasn't able to walk, I was on crutches, so that was just impossible. I couldn't walk my dog, so I had to get people to come and walk him every single day, or I drove him to like a, one of those secure dog fields and just let him run wild in there. But uh, honestly, it's just been crazy. And with that, and also trying to focus on work, it's been really difficult. Working, I haven't actually sat in my office. This is the first time I've sat in my office at my desk for three months. I have been working from the sofa for that long because I cannot, it's really uncomfortable for me to sit at a desk on my chair with my leg down. And this is the first time I feel like I can. So I'm probably gonna do like the morning here or something. And then in the afternoon, I'll probably end up going on the sofa to elevate my leg. I need to elevate it anyway, basically to get it straight cause it's still not fully straight so that I can see my surgeon in January. But yeah, sorry, long story short, I've torn my ACL. And if anyone knows anything about sporting injuries, it's one of the worst ones you could have. <laughs> um, it's a career ender for most athletes. So yeah, it's pretty intense. And I will be having reconstruction surgery in the new year. I'm not sure when yet. I go and see my surgeon on the 3rd of January. And then I think I'll go onto the wait list and I'll have an idea as to dates then. But yeah, it's just been crazy. And what with Black Friday and holiday Christmas period coming up. Work is just super, super busy getting clients ready for that. So it's just been really chaotic and I'm really slowing down um, towards the end of the year. So it's the end of November now, it's the 27th of November today. And basically I have decided that I'm gonna be taking December off of work. Um, not fully off of work in the sense of I won't be doing anything. I really wanna focus on any day for that month and plan out some services that I've wanted to launch all year but I just haven't got round to and everything else behind the scenes, client work wise, everything should be planned out and ready. And then obviously I have Caitlin, my assistant as well, who will be helping me with other client work. So in terms of my clients though, my client work will all be done by the end of November. Um, so for December, I'm just concentrating on, obviously I'll be posting some client stuff, but then just any day stuff. So yeah, I'm gonna be trying to take a month off, which is amazing that I've been able to do that. This year has been really, really good for any day. And yeah, just going into the new year, I feel like I need to really plan out everything and get to grips with it and plan ahead because when it comes to the time of my surgery, um, I'm gonna need to take some time off, whether that's like two weeks, a month, I've no idea, but you're in pretty excruciating pain for the first couple of weeks after your surgery, I've heard. So yeah, I'm probably gonna wanna take some time off because apparently you don't get much sleep either because of the pain. I'm trying to just prep myself and prep my business to plan for that. So this isn't the kind of video that I thought I'd be filming towards the end of the year, but this is the reality of being a business owner and having an injury basically and trying to deal with that. So yeah, anyway, I've been talking for four and a half minutes already and this vlog hasn't even started, but I just wanted to take you on a couple of days with me this week, probably not the full week because my week is just crazy now. My partner has gone to Zimbabwe to play cricket until Christmas. Um, and he'll be back towards the end of December. So I'm on my own with the dog, with a bad knee, trying to walk him, trying to do my job, trying to also train because I'm working with a nutritionist and fitness coach at the moment because of my injury and also have some sort of a social life. So yeah, it's pretty crazy. But yeah, I'm gonna take you on a couple of days with me and just show you what I'm up to at the moment. It's one of those days where I just need to finish my breakfast. My breakfast is now cold but I've been trying to do so much this morning. I started it, forgot about it, and now I am finishing it. So I'm gonna sit at my desk, finish that, and I've got some videos and stuff that I need to edit and get ready for this week, so yeah. Just a little sneak peek to what 
I'm working on. This is in no way the final thing, so I feel okay showing you, but I'm basically just mapping out Ira's grid for December, um, which will actually be our last grid together. I'm not working with them past um, the end of November, but I'm getting their December content done. It's just weird to be talking about it, but essentially I made the decision for my business that it's more sustainable if I, if we don't work together. It was just taking up a lot of my time and to the point where I said that they would be better off getting someone in, in-house full time to do the marketing, social media management side of things. It's too big a job for the um, amount that they're scaling and growing. It's too big a job for me to just carry on doing with how much they want to be doing if that makes sense and obviously that's bittersweet because it's not like I can't do it of course I can but I found myself spending most of my weeks solely focusing on IRA and one I wasn't being paid for that and two I want to be able to work with so many other clients and do other things other than just one brand account which is why I don't work for a brand I work for myself so for me it just wasn't something that was gonna work moving into 2024. So I just made the decision to part ways and that's that. And I feel like it feels so awkward to talk about it. Like why, why do I feel so awkward right now? But it's so normal for like client relationships to not work out or for it to move in a different direction and you not like jumping on board and going in that direction with them. Like we worked with IRA from the very beginning, like probably like a month into them launching. And we've grown their account from, I don't know what they had at the start, maybe like hundreds to now it's like nearly at 6K. And in that year we've done so much and scaled so much and their growth is just so rapid that for me, it's just not something that we can help them with now unless I hired one person to, you know, take on their whole account. like. That's just not something I want to do. I want the people that work for me to have variety as well. And I just think that they're better off having a social media manager in-house, um, which I feel is a conversation in itself. A lot of people, when they sign up for social media management, they're you know more than happy to have you working for them one day a week, or it doesn't even have to be that, like just getting the content done per month because I don't, I don't work days. Like I don't say, oh, I'm working on this brand today. Like it just depends. My week changes all the time. And that can be absolutely amazing for the start but then as you grow or as things shift in the business and and things change maybe services or product wise that can also change your relationship as well and that's absolutely normal and it's totally okay and i've had it happen before and i'll obviously have it happen again um i feel like ira was just a really good example of that um because the growth was so amazing from our work together to go from hundreds of followers to six thousand and you know they're in Harvey Nichols, they're, you know, collabing with these huge influencers and brands and they're just growing too much for it to just be the small business that it started out to be and me be the social media manager for that. So yeah, that's just how it goes. And I find it such an interesting conversation and I would love to chat about it more, um, I'm sure in future, but yeah, it's just part of business and scary as it may seem to actually be the one to approach a brand and say look I just think this will actually be better for you I feel like that almost shows my growth as a business that I'm able to step away from that because it's just not working for me and for my business and I want to be able to focus on other stuff and scale and grow myself whereas I feel like that was holding me back a lot with the work that I was doing it is currently quarter to one 44 and I am just going to get dressed and ready for the gym. I'm gonna head down to my garage gym and do my workout for the day. You wouldn't believe that I Dyson air wrapped, well, sharked my hair and rolled at it this morning. It's all dropped, but there we go. <laughs> yes, yeah, so I'm gonna do a workout. It's quarter to one. I'm hopefully gonna be finished by with that at about half one, quarter to two. And then I'm gonna have some lunch and carry on with my work for the rest of the day evening bernie will be back around four or five so um i just want to get a gym session in today whilst he's at daycare and tomorrow and then it only gives me one day to have to get a gym session in when i'm also walking him twice a day as well so i'm in my gym stuff i'm just wearing some adenola leggings actually because my lululemons are in the wash um i'll put my trainers downstairs 
And then I've got this Gymshark base layer oh my gosh which i bought in the black friday sale actually which i really like um and just a gymshark bra on underneath you'll probably also notice that i have these on my chin i have broken out on my chin so i've just put some of my i think it's star face spot stickers on which they're a vibe i just need to remember that if anyone comes to the door i've got these stuck on my face because i feel like i always forget and then i end up going around and i'm like i've literally got two stars on my chin but anyway i need to go to the gym because I'm procrastinating getting this done. This gym is freezing. <laughs> if you're in the UK at the moment, especially in the north, it's literally temperatures of minus three with no snow. It's so cold, which I'm grateful for. I hate snow because I'm, I live on a hill, so I'm always snowed in, but this is just, and when you're working in the gym and you've got like bars and dumbbells with metal handles, it's freezing on your hands like to the point where I have to wear gloves or like put something over me. How at work. <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> I'm listening to Sophia and Jinsia. I love listening to podcasts shower. when I'm wow. gymming. So yeah. I'm finished with my workout. Because it's upper body and core, I don't get as tired or like sweaty when I do it. It's leg day and like full body that really makes me sweat, but obviously I can't do that anymore, so well, at the moment, not anymore. I will be able to eventually, but now not so much. Nearly 20 to two, so I'm gonna go back in now, have some lunch, and then get back to um, the desk. I have quite possibly the most boring slash childlike lunch <laughs> of a tuna cucumber bagel and some salted popcorn, um, which is so yum, by the way. And of course, obviously a Pepsi Max with a glass straw, because drinking through a straw is so much nicer. And I don't know if I'm mentioned on here, I'm now a Pepsi girl, not a Coke Zero girl. girl. It's so much sweeter, um, but there's still no sugar. So yeah, that is my lunch at the moment. I'll As you can probably tell, I haven't got out of my gym stuff. I've left my coat on because it's chilly anyway and save getting a hot water bottle. I thought I'd just, oh my gosh, leave my coat on. Um, but I have finished work for the day now. I need to take these off my face before my dog comes back from daycare and the lady thinks I'm crazy. But yeah, I worked from half 10 until, what's the time now? It's quarter past three. So, I've had about a five hour day today. Well, I'd say probably about a four hour day, which is what I've been trying to do recently. Obviously, if I need longer days, I will do it. I'm gonna do some invoices tonight and I think tomorrow will be a longer day because I've got to go food shopping. Because my partner is away playing um, cricket, I obviously have to work. I have to look after my dog, walk him twice a day when he's not at daycare, have a sort of social life and then also gym, keep up everything to do with the house like food shopping and all, all of that kind of stuff so I'm finding it very overwhelming and difficult he hasn't been away in a really long time I've been very lucky to have him home this summer and um yeah so it's just it takes a bit of adjustment so basically I made the decision to cut down my days to like four hour days which is working for me because then it means I can have a full morning routine and then do my work and then also have time in the evening to be able to do all the other stuff that I need to do like my knee rehab and tidying up the house and hoovering and things around the house that kind of thing and also just chilling and making dinner don't get me wrong I'm so privileged and lucky to be able to do this but equally it has been five years nearly six of hard flipping work to get to a point where I can just do four hour work days so I'm obviously super lucky to have my incredible assistant, Caitlin. She's absolutely amazing. It's actually her year with us. Um, I think it was a couple of days ago. She has been with Any Day for a year. So I'm sending her over a little parcel to say thank you with some presents. And yeah, just, I'm so lucky to have her um, and all the people we work with. So yeah, as privileged as I am, it has taken some hard work over the past five years. Many points of burnout and um, losses of friendships and things like that just to get to this point so I don't regret anything obviously things happened that I wish never did but um, it's what brought me to where I am today so yeah anyway before I get deep I need to take off these things because no one's gonna take me seriously so yeah I'll see you in the morning yeah good boy good morning 
morning it is tuesday it is five past eight which isn't even that early really but i tend to have a longer lay in but it's tuesday which today is that bernie goes to daycare because he is obviously not needing walking in the morning um before everything else so i just come down at eight have my breakfast and my coffee I actually this morning I'm going to go and do a food shop at Sainsbury's because I need to get a couple of bits. I'm going to do that this morning. He's crying at me already but I'm not. We're waiting for Sharon today. Yeah because you're going to daycare today. Let's make a coffee. <laughs> I'll speak up but I'm basically as you can probably see iced in my car I'm just sat warming thank god for seat warmers because <laughs> at least my bum can get warm and it's not on this cold seat but I'm just going to Sainsbury's now to grab the bits I'm hoping to be back by realistically probably 11 by the time I drive there do my stuff um, so that gives me an hour and 15 from now I've still obviously got to sit here and wait for this to defrost for a bit and I'm gonna assess the gym situation see how much work I get done if I can get half the videos edited in a reasonable time to go to the gym have lunch work some more and then obviously Bernie's coming back then fine but if not I will just gym end of this week slash weekend is fine at least I've done one at the start of the week and then I've only got two to go now I've got a bunch of video editing to do today so that is the main task for today for 12 days of Christmas for IRA and I've got to send out invoices as well and um, I then also got to sort out the spare room and stuff for my mum to come and stay anyway I'm rambling too much I need to run to Sainsbury's so. this is what I'm dealing with at the moment like look how ice this is <laughs> I might be here for a while I'm back from food shopping. Um, it is 22.12 now um, and I've been working for about, I don't know, half an hour or so. I'm just getting through the video edits that I need to. I think, to be honest, I'll get them all done today, which is the aim anyway. It is a very boring day in the sense that I'm just spending my whole day editing content a bit of a bore but i've got a call at three with caroline for half an hour just to check in um and see if there's anything i need to change for tomorrow basically i'm currently watching below deck med there's a new season out and i didn't know i haven't been watching it for the past couple of months um because i've been watching other stuff so i'm currently on episode three of that and yeah i'm just gonna crack on with my day and um get some video editing done <laughs> of a change of plan in my day i was going to go and back back up and work before my call but now i've only got less than 45 minutes before my call with caroline and my kitchen currently looks like this because we've had a leak from the sink and it's come all the way underneath the floorboards well no sorry the cover underneath the cabinets and it's all come through into the kitchen i was like god this is a lot more water than usual like what's going on well i poured a bunch of water down the sink because I was doing the washing up and I couldn't hear anything. Like it doesn't sound like something spilling. I guess I had so much in my cupboard underneath, but then I poured some soup down my sink and I could smell it. And I was like, what the fuck's that? And it started coming through the floorboard. And I was like, ah, the soup I've just poured down the sink, pulled it all away and it's soaked. The whole under sink cupboard, all underneath like the actual cupboards itself like underneath here and i can see what's wrong the overflow pipe the overflow pipe has come away from the sink so i currently don't know what to do about that but i've texted my neighbor we have a very weird setup in the sense that they built this house and then they moved next door and renovated that house. So they used to live here <laughs> and he built the kitchen. So when he's home from work, I'm sure he'll pop around um, to see what's going on. But so yeah, <laughs> that is my day. But on the positive side, 
I'm home and I found it before it caused any damage, like real damage to the kitchen. And I'm able to do this and free up my time. So I will not be gymming today and I'll not be going to the post office. I will be cleaning this up. <sighs> I've got a call in 40 minutes. So I'm gonna try and clear up as much as I can. I've cleared up most of it, but I wanna just clear up all the baskets and stuff because they're all soaked as well and put all the products somewhere for now. Dramas of also owning your own home. Who knew that everything went wrong? And I'm not even kidding. I'm not even joking with you. Every time my partner goes away, something goes wrong in the house. The first big one was there was a leak through the ceiling from our bathroom and we had to get the whole bathroom ripped out. Then we've had tire punctures. We've had this underneath the sink. What else have we had? We've had more leaks. We've had broken like wood on some of the steps. Yeah, something always goes wrong. I don't know why, it's shit. Anyway, gonna clear this up now and then get to my meeting at three. If you don't laugh, you'll cry. That is literally me right now. <laughs> you actually just can't write the fact that I've had a leak in my kitchen. On the week that is my busiest week at work, in terms of getting stuff done and signed off for holiday, I'm alone, I am looking after a dog, albeit not today, thankfully. Thank you that this happened on the day that he's at daycare, else I think I actually would have lost my mind. Anyway, it's literally a few minutes to three, so um, I've got my call with Caroline now. I just need to go through, I've got a list of a couple of bits with her that I need extra information on to be able to do that, or just let her know an update of where I'm at with that. And then we're pretty much looking like we're signing off December, which is amazing. <laughs> It is snowing this morning. It's actually not Wednesday. It's Thursday. I didn't film yesterday because the battery was dead So I needed to charge it and by the time I put it on charge and finish work. It wasn't charged um, I literally only did two hours of work yesterday two and a half hours I went to the football in the evening, which was my first time going to Leeds United, which was yeah, really really cool we we're actually in a director's box because um one of our friends at the club, their friend works for Skybet and he got some tickets. So we went to, um, yeah, watch Leeds United versus Swansea, which is funny because the, squ the Swansea captain is a guy who I've known for like 15 plus years and I went to school with him. So it was actually really nice to watch him play as well. I haven't watched him play football in ages. But yes, yeah, so we've woken up to snow this morning, which is crazy. Where I live is quite high up. So we do actually get quite a bit of snow even when there's not a lot of snow. So yeah, I have had my breakfast and stuff and then I took Bernie round the block, which was a very slow walk because of the snow and also my knee, which was just interesting in itself. But now I have got, it's currently 10 to 10. At 10 o'clock, I've got a meeting with Caroline and the IRA team, which is like our final social meeting uh, with Caroline anyway, to just like go over content and anything that we need to sort basically for December. Yeah. It's a tough life being the office assistant, isn't it, Burn Boy? Yeah. I can't believe how cold it is in this house and I literally have the heating on. Like, how? How is my floor not heated up yet? I'm gonna leave it on for another half an hour and then I'm, I've got hot water bottles and stuff and then, actually I think I might turn it off and I'll just put the fire on because I'm gonna sit in the lounge now to do my work. I wanted to get to the post office today, but this is the situation. So I don't really want to go down the drive until it's somewhat started to melt. Warming up this afternoon, so we'll see about that. But yeah, I'm gonna work from the sofa for the rest of the day, just because there's Kardashians and stuff I want to watch. I also want need to do my knee rehab. And I just wanna be cozy and upstairs is cozy in the office because the radiator's behind me, but it's just not the same as it, so. Yeah, I'm gonna have a sofa day today. Have a call with Caroline, which was so nice. Bittersweet because that's the last ever social call we'll have, but I know that we've got a group chat, so we'll chat in there all the time, and um, I'm gonna see them when I go to London, so. I am down on the sofa now, <laughs> but I did just wanna come on and chat because it's not something that I've mentioned, but it's something that I've been going through this week. I mentioned it on my close friend's story on my Any Day account, if you're on that. I have had some trouble this month with 
a previous client not yeah we're talking three invoices from august which don't get me wrong i've dealt with things like that before um there's even another person that i'm dealing with it right now but i know that she's going through a very tough time um personally so but they've also been going through difficult times but this this invoice is from our first month of working together we worked together for three months like i did content for three months and none of it was ever paid for and i'm so naive and silly like i shouldn't have carried on doing content but it's crazy how you just get caught up in it and um, obviously i've learned my lesson now and it's just something that i think it's very taboo to talk about again but also i understand that people have difficulties in their business but this is my business this is my livelihood it is nearly christmas it's the most expensive time of year i've got to be buying presents and traveling down south and all of this like i also need invoices paying too like that is how I run my business and especially this client was our one social media management client that we take on at a time. They were my spot for those three months and I've still not been paid for it. So I had other clients and things, but that it was my like my highest paying service um, and I have limited spots for that and someone else who would be paying could have had it. Um, and yeah, it's just, I think it's just very difficult topic to talk about because it's obviously money again, but equally like this is my business and this is how you know I make my money and my livelihood and when you're dealt with that it's super awkward so it's just made me think like going into 2024 is it something that I'm gonna have to switch up in my client onboarding in the sense that people are gonna have to start paying at the start of their month for the content usually so first month is always split 50% at the start of the month and then 50% once the content's completed and then going forward it's always I will invoice at the end of the month once the content's completed but i feel like now because this situation's happened do i have to now get clients to pay before i've even created the content for them all because some people are incapable of paying for the work and i just think it's so unfair because i get it from both parts like they don't want to be paying for a month's content that hasn't even been created yet but equally i don't want to spend my whole month creating content and scheduling and posting it to never be paid so it's a really fine line and equally i know i could do 50 50 but having invoices going out every two weeks would just be annoying for the client as well and if it's a larger amount then that's also fees as well that they have to pay so I'm trying to limit that so it's like how do you make both parties happy i find it so difficult so if anyone's got any tips on that or if they found a solution for that um or found anything that's useful or helpful and has worked for them then please let me know in the comments below or dm me because yeah i find it super interesting like i really do try and help clients out where i can but equally this is also my livelihood and my business so i do need to make a living from it i think it's important to also talk about you know the shitty things that you go through in business as opposed to oh my god i'm working with this client and this client and doing this and blah 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 and going here there and everywhere um this is a reality this is reality this is like a day in my week like what i'm dealing with yeah i'm working with really cool people and making amazing content and things like that but equally i'm also dealing with the shit that comes with business and admin and all of that stuff <laughs> So I'm just working on finalising all of the IRA content for December. So this is what the grid is looking like at the moment. As you can see, we've got some blank placeholders just waiting on some content basically. And it's some content that I need to create because other stuff has fallen through. Basically, when I've got an overwhelming calendar like this is, there's a lot of content, right, for December. And I've got an overwhelming amount of content to do. What I like to do is break it up into creating placeholders into the calendar, creating placeholders on a grid so I can see it visually. Then I'll work on all of the information that needs to be in that day. So for example, I haven't got some of it yet, but for example here, I haven't created this content yet. This is something that I need to create um, because some other stuff fell through. And what I've done already is this is what I'm going to be doing. So I know what I'm doing here. The copy is all done. All of that is approved copy that we've worked on. So I sign the copy off. So make sure that every single day has all of its caption and copy done. Um, and then the last thing that I will do is create the content just so that it breaks stuff down for me. So 
maybe one part of the day I will plan everything into the calendar, see what it looks like visually on a grid just so I have an idea as to what's coming when. The next day I will work on copy for everything so that all the copy and captions and stuff are done. And then finally I'll work on all of the content um, and I'll also break that down into carousel posts for a day and reels for a day so that I can get into the real editing mode and I can get into carousel mode so I'm not like overwhelmed and trying to do everything all at once. I've got my call with Caitlin now, so sign off for today once I've had this call. Um, just gonna go over some stuff for this week and everything that she's working on. And then yeah, I'm done for the day. Just finished watching I'm a Celeb. So yeah, I'm gonna grab some, that arrow's on my nose. <laughs> I'm gonna grab some dinner after this and then I'll be done. But yeah, let's chat to Caitlin. <laughs> literally speed speed getting ready here it is i think it's 10 to and i've got a meeting at 10 with katie i'm just gonna throw on a top and some joggers on my bottom because no one will see that anyway but i've literally just sent the invite to katie so hopefully she's still free and seen it but we did say yes so we do 10 but i didn't email her back which was my mistake. I'm gonna go now because I'm gonna get dressed and you don't need to see that. I'm ready. <laughs> Just like that, I'm ready. I'm hoping Katie will be on the call. If not, we can reschedule, but my goodness. I've just been running around like a mad person this morning, getting Bernie ready, etc. And now I'm just gonna grab my laptop and hope that he doesn't get up because this is what he's like at the moment. Cozy. Um, Grab my laptop, set it up out in the kitchen. Have my call out here. That way, if he does try and disturb me, then it's not so. He doesn't bark as much. I don't know. Call it the dog theory. I feel like all dog owners will understand. Like, you just know when your dog's going to bark and when it's not. And whenever I'm in my office, even if I'm not even on a meeting, and I'm just working, he will come up and nose me underneath the desk and start barking um especially if i'm on a meeting he will then start barking if he wants something whereas if i'm on a meeting downstairs and he wants food he usually just goes and chills and then i'll get it once i'm done how good is this light with the snow let's go and do this meeting with katie this is what the snow is looking like today the sky is just so beautiful in the mornings here so oh, the bird fronted effect right Let's get on the Zoom call. I said, I joked with him yesterday and I was like, until you move your car down the hill, and I can see you make it down the hill, I'm not even attempting it in my car. Even though I've got a massive four by four, like Q5 Audi, no. <laughs> we're chatting through a strategy, like collaboration that we're gonna do. So I'm gonna be working on social strategy. She's gonna be working on brand strategy, um, slash design, like one big package. So I, oh, that's my Zoom. Who knew Zoom did that? That's cute. Yeah, we're going to do one big package and I sent her over a breakdown of everything. So I need to just get that up so that I've got that ready to chat through. I don't think she's coming on, which is fine. I'm gonna drop her a text or an email um, and just apologize and rearrange another date. Like I read her email yesterday didn't reply to it straight away until this morning um with a link to a zoom so to be honest she never heard back from me but in my head i was always doing it you know when you do that yeah i need to reply anyway my fault <laughs> sorry casey if you're watching this i'm not actually gonna start any work yet i'm gonna work once i've had my physio at 12 um and work sort of like the afternoon i'm currently just so i'm just gonna work on some bits for um iray that i needed to work on just some edits from our call the other day so technically i should have finished um end of november but i'm actually going to stay on until the 8th just to get some last little bits done because they were um waiting on some content from brands that we're doing partnerships with um and things got a little bit rearranged so i'm just gonna edit all of that and um rearrange all of that and organize it ready to go so that the next agency i'm handing over to have a smooth transition and it's not just crazy hectic for them
grab a drink now and a little snack and just sort myself out ready for my physio. I need to open the gates so that she can get in. Um, and then I'm gonna have that for, it's usually about an hour, hour and a half. And then I'm gonna get back to creating content and sorting some work. So yeah, Fridays are usually pretty chill for me. Honestly, if I didn't have physio and stuff this morning, I get up and I finish work by 12. If not, I have the whole day off and I just work a four day working week. But obviously, as I said, now that I'm here by myself and I've got the dog and stuff, I um, have to walk the dog in the morning and the afternoon so it kind of breaks up my day a bit in the sense that I can't just get up early and start work and just smash it all out. So yes, I'm really looking forward to this weekend actually. I've got, tomorrow we're going over to one of the girls' houses. She just moved into a new house with her partner and we're going over there for like a little friendsmas. I'm actually having a roast. We're gonna have Rudy's pizza. If you know, you know. Rudy's is absolutely incredible. Let's grab a drink, a snack before my physio. It is now 20 past one. So Soph came at 12, so we've been working for about an hour and 15. So, so happy. My knee is pretty much straight, which is just amazing. Like, so, so happy. She's honestly been an absolute godsend. Um, thank God for Soph. I'm gonna grab something and then chill on the sofa do some work this afternoon wrap everything up katie also replied to my email she also forgot about it so thankfully we both messed up in in a way and uh we're gonna rearrange it for monday so i'm gonna chat with her on monday which will be really nice and yeah then that's my friday done as you can probably hear my laptop is about to take off by the sounds of it but i just wanted to update you that this is what i've been working on today so we're just going through ira stuff i've decided to basically do everything up to day six so as you can see four and six are still placeholders i'm just waiting on content to edit those but the rest of the covers um are in and then i will do everything else uh, on monday basically i'm going to do day six upwards um so i've got half done today i've just finished up work um i had a couple of ab mini bits to do for some new clients um to send over i'm gonna reply to some emails um but then that's me done i am clocking off for the weekend which is super exciting i'm not actually going to do anything this evening i was going to go to the gym but i'm actually going to gym tomorrow and sunday instead i need to go and get some stuff from the gym so i'm going to do that but yeah, that is me done. Been an interesting week. I've dealt with a lot of stuff behind the scenes, ab mini wise, which, you know, is always interesting. I've had a somewhat challenging week, I guess, dealing with things that go on in business that maybe people don't really speak about that much. Other than that, it's been pretty straightforward. We're just trying to get ahead of ourselves and get ready for Christmas. I will probably sign off here. I'm just sat watching the Sheer Luck show on YouTube. I need to take my dog out again and I can chill for the rest of the evening. So thank you so much for watching this weekly vlog. I hope it was somewhat interesting. I know I couldn't, I can't really film too much of client stuff. I do find that really hard, but I hope that you've enjoyed coming along with me anyway. Whatever people put in vlogs, I know people say sorry all the time that it's a bit boring. And I think that this is like the most boring week ever, but I actually love watching vlogs like this. So hopefully you guys do too. If you have any requests for any videos, please do let me know. I really wanna get back into the swing of everything with YouTube. I'm gonna try and upload every two weeks and then get it weekly post Christmas, but I will, try and plan a lot of videos in December when I have my time off and I'm working on any day. So yeah, thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a lovely week, weekend, whenever you're watching it and I'll see you soon. Bye.